Oh, hey YouTube. So you already watched my video on how to double peg? You said that was easy, huh? Well, guess what we're doing this week? Ice picks. So what that is, is you're just gonna be on your back peg only. You could do backside or front side. I personally am backside. So we're gonna hop into the skate park and, shows, and show you the do's and or don'ts of doing ice picks on your scooter. So let's get to it. All right, so we're stepping it up from the double peg and we're going for the ice pick grind. So if you're not familiar with BMX terms, uh, we literally stole this directly from them. We've got the handlebars, we've got the pegs on there. Why not have BMX tricks? We're gonna be doing an ice pick grind and stall. So ice pick is just your back peg. You're not gonna be touching any part of the deck, the front peg, anything like that. All that's gonna be touching your grinding surface, your stalling surface, is the back peg only. So this one takes some balance, some coordination, and uh, a lot of, a lot of oomph, a lot of chutzpah, all that fun stuff. So let's go, let's check out some techniques for getting in there and practicing to get good at this stuff. Same way we did a double peg, we're gonna go to our small curb and just get used to locking in and where our pegs need to be. Uh, Cause that's the hardest part. So once again, you yeah, got your double peg, both pegs are on the ground for the ice pick. We only want that back peg on the ground. Uh, it's really hard to balance on there. You don't have your wheel to manual. And you just gotta lock it in there perfectly. So this one, I probably won't be as good at, but let's try it. Just do this for a couple minutes at a time and just get used to it. Once you lock it in almost every time, you're about ready to go practice on the quarter pipe. So let's go do that. We have ourselves here a, about a four foot quarter pipe. Nothing too scary. Sadly, no coping again, but we'll make do with it. So we're gonna wanna do, just like before, start warming up at it, just getting closer and closer to doing it. Putting your foot to the side if it gets a little too scary, and then just commit once you're feeling it. If you're good at tire taps, you should be able to do this one too. Uh, just get good at precision right where you need it to be. Commit, stall on the back peg. You're gonna want your weight back like a manual. Jump in, same thing, just a little bunny hop off. Look down to your right, well this is for backside. Look down towards the quarter pipe, make your shoulder go downward and the rest of your body will follow. All right, now you got pretty good at just doing your stalls, feeling pretty good, don't be afraid to throw some tricks into it. You can do like a toothpick tail whip, that's one of my first ones I learned there. And uh, I just like to dance around on the coping a little bit, put on my tap dancing shoes. Yeah, cha 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 cha. All right guys, so you got your ice pick stalls on lock on the quarter pipe, you ready to start some new stuff? Uh, let's show you how it's done on a ledge. Same thing, going to practice like your manuals, that kind of stuff. Just go at it with a lot more speed and it's going to be a lot stickier than a manual so you're going to ne lean, lean back a lot because it's going to be trying to set you down because you're grinding metal on metal. Heavy metal, let's do it. See, ice picks weren't that hard guys. Uh, just always line it up with that back wheel, try to slap it up in there, and uh, everything will be going good for you. If you got manuals, you got tire taps, you're gonna get your ice picks, no worries. Um, if this is a little bit too advanced for you, go ahead and click on our video from our previous one. Wow, that's how you double peg right there. If each of these is pretty easy for you, keep an eye out for our next installment, and it's gonna be how to do toothpicks. That's just gonna be on the front peg. It's the most advanced of our peg maneuvers. So. Keep on going, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos from the Vault Pro Scooters.